Hey YouTube, it's Petey, and I had a pinched nerve in my pinky finger, my fret finger. That's healed up. So we've got new music. Um, there's a 14 song set list. Um, that whole thing is kind of like a real complicated ball of worms this new music but i think that if we keep working at it uh eventually i can come to peace with that and this will be music that we will uh, want to share with you guys hopefully it is because i we already have a good amount of effort invested in it um the guitar tones on this stuff is not dirty <laughs> it's more clean or slightly broken up or overdriven sounds so this is uh, it's on the other side of that coin of what I've been doing I've made more aggressive music in the past with the distortion this is clean, cleaner guitar tone. So it's something a little different. And I have a uh, bass amp project that I'm working on. I'm going to be doing a couple of range master, Dallas range master circuits, which is a, it's like one of the first, um, it's a treble booster is what it was called which is not really the best name. You could almost think of it as a, um, an overdrive, kind of. So I've got that work lined up. This is the time of the year where I normally, I normally am thinking about recording an album, although the past few years I've always waffled on it and been like, I don't know if I'm going to do anything this year, and then I'll go ahead and do it. But I was, I was really scared of this pinched nerve was not good this pinched nerve in my pinky um, it meant that i was just unable to play guitar for a good two weeks now i used to have i used to have a ingrown toenail thing and i would have to uh, i would have to cut those out and it made it so the next day after cutting them, um, I missed work. It was a thing where I would, I would drink a good amount of alcohol to be able to do it. The home surgery to cut, cut because the, the, the ingrown toenails, they hurt so bad, I had to cut them out. I couldn't. So in order to do it, I would drink and then the next day. I'd have a horrific hangover, and then I'd have uh, this terrible pain in my... Uh, the, the day after you cut them out, it hurts. You gotta stay off of them. So that issue kind of just stopped. My feet like stabilized, and then it started happening in my hands. So, I will uh, cut those out. I don't drink anymore, so I, I just, just cut them out. And um, I got a real bad one on my pinky, on my, uh, my pick hand, my pinky. I, this, uh, for some reason, it's really painful today. I did, did some work last night and it, oh, it's just, it's, I, I need to, I need to put some, um, put some ointment on it and bandage it up. So that, that's, uh, one of the things that keeps me uh, away from playing as much as I'd like to, or as much as I should, you know, is if you've got to take a razor and cut your hands up and pull fin chunks of fingernails out of eight out of 10 of your fingers, the two that I don't have to do are the ones that were uh, amputated.
in the lawnmower accident when I was a kid. So, uh, moving forward here, I'm okay for now with the pinched nerve in my pinky. But I still have this thing where every month, month and a half, I've got to completely remove all these grown in fingernails. And that uh, is at least, you know, it's, a, it's about a week. It's about a week where I, I have to tape them up, put ointment on them and tape them up. I like to try to do all the cutting in one night, but usually it's two, you know. And then, uh, you know, the next day, not doing much. Um, they need they need to heal up before I can move on. So that that's just that just is what it is. I'm not complaining. I'm just uh, wanted to update because I had made a video where I was like, oh, I might not I might not even be able to play. That's it was like two weeks of this finger uh, with the pinched nerve, and it wasn't getting really much better. So I was really thinking this might be it. And well, things are uh, back to normal more, although um, I got to be careful how I if uh, overdoing it with this pinky because I started feeling that coming back, playing. It's a particular piece of music. It's this new song that when I play it, I use a different fretting position with my hand and that's why the nerve got pinched so we like anyone in their right mind would go well you got to get rid of that song my solution was well let's not I just won't play it as often as I was playing it when I got hurt because I was playing it non-stop and then I pinched the nerve so I figured well if I just play it you know once a night or every other day, I can be able to get away with that. So, um, the new music, it has more synthesizer stuff on the backing tracks. And then I did more adventurous with the guitar effects and then the bass. We've got the, the Boss GT1B it's a multi-effector for the bass guitar and that has something called the Boss Terra Echo in it which is really cool depending on how, how you set it up if you set it up as a long delay and you play in time with it and like I'll add another dotted eighth note delay right after it I'll put a envelope filter in front of it and you'll play quiet and then on the accent notes you'll play harder you'll pick pick soft and then pick hard on the accent note and then pick soft and it opens up the envelope the auto wah opens up and then that goes through the terra echo and does this thing it's it's cool <laughs> so uh it's not that i bit off more than i can chew But going from writing this stuff and then getting it all to where it's ready to be consumed or shot, you know, vi filmed on video and edited to put up on the channel, uh, it's a lot more work. So we've been, we've been we'll do a rehearsal and then we have a list of like well all of this these base issues with the base effects you know here it's too loud here it's not loud enough this effect needs to be toned down this effect needs to be boosted and then the same thing with the guitar we had a whole thing with the new pedal board uh, issues with heterodyne oscillation, and then I had a uh, a booster 
a little 1590A Chinese $20 boost pedal that I bought that ended up having a real unpleasant distortion on certain sounds. I'm, I'm, it's, it's fine on its own, but when you use it in conjunction with this other complicated device, the new XMG30, which is an amp modeler, multi-effect, cab sim, that's when I had the problems with it. So we ditched that. I got a, uh, it's an AMZ MOSFET boost designed by Jack Horman. It's a DIY pedal. And that one um, was fine. It, same with the EP boost. The EP boost didn't, didn't do this. But that the cheaper Rowan and then a bunch of other pedals that I tried that I had here, a bunch of other had the same unpleasant distortion effect when used in the effects loop of the new XMG30. So uh, then you have the balancing the audio levels of the background tracks. So every night we play, um, I've been teaching my wife more intricate details on the bass playing um, and then we've been marking down you know well this sequence needs to come up this one is a little hot these issues with the bass effector these issues with the guitar effects taking all these notes so then when we're done playing I gotta go and it's like three hours later I'm still editing out uh, you know I'll plug the bass effects in and I'll go through everything there oh and then we've been reorganizing the set list trying to put trying to find an order it's like a puzzle with a set list if you have a bunch of songs that are in the same or similar keys or songs that are basically the same song rewritten, <laughs> which I have a couple. There's like two two sets of, you know, the same thing basically. So uh, that's where I'm at. I'm able to play now. There is light at the end of the tunnel for this set. It is different. This music that we're doing, it's cleaner guitar, it's mellower music, but it's it's cool. There's the uh, the effects. I mean, it's I, I'm it's the same guy who wrote it, so it's and the way it is for me is that unless everything falls within a certain uh, level of quality, like if there's like it's very difficult for me to play at the level where I need to play where I can go out there and like try to solo or branch out or even learn the pieces okay and we're not there yet we're getting closer but it's still there's enough stuff going wrong where I'm not really able to let my guard down and get get in and focus and get to the place where I need to be to do my job as the guitar player so uh, we're making we're making pro I'm able to play the, this pinky thing really is no longer an issue although I just cut I had to cut thing ingrown fingernails out um, I and again I really I hate to come on here but uh, my back pain has just been off the charts and I Again, I just hate to come out here and be like, oh, you know, the only time I ever come on is to tell you how horrible everything is and complain, you know. I got to tell you, this, this 2023 was great. Up until the end of September, then like a lot of just bad stuff started happening. So if you go back and watch those videos in there, I'm not complaining. I'm not. There's some videos where I'm ecstatic. I'm in a I'm in a great mood and I'm ecstatic. And then it'll be like in times like this where we are now, I'm not uploading. The uploads are rare. And then I'm like, I really I should go on 
and make an update video to keep people posted that I'm miserable. <laughs> anyway, that's what's going on. I am so blessed and lucky to be able to do what I'm doing. I realize that I've got these projects with the uh, bass amp I should be working on now. I got the new music. I've got these Arrange Master circuits I'm going to be building and playing around with that. So I am so blessed and so lucky to be able to do this. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, take care of yourselves. I'm going to be making another video, uh, talk a little bit about personal stuff. And then, of course, the holidays are coming up. I usually always talk a little bit about that. So... Um, I'll, I'll see you guys soon. I don't I don't know what the future or the near future is going to bring. Um, but let's be confident that it's going to be good. Take care of yourselves. Hug your pets. And peace. <laughs>